Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. We are officially um, two weeks in quarantine, or we're going to use our new form of SI units. My beard is now coming up on 26 centimeters. It's going to be serious, but we're back. Anyway, today we're going to do our red cabbage universal indicator experiment. Now, I put this up with a few questions using Edpuzzle, so anyone who didn't have the parts can still, still take part. Let's have a look and see how we're, going, we're doing. So here's all my bits and pieces. Now, we have our red cabbage indicator, which I will warn you smells pretty special if you leave it for a week. But, you know, let's get this done, done today and we'll be all good. I have a few different household things here. I have some normal cheap and cheerful vinegar, a lemon, some bread soda, and some oven cleaner. Now, do be careful with this stuff if you're using something similar. As we turn around, it is, of course, one of our lovely warning symbols. It's not the nicest stuff, so don't get it in your hands. And if for any reason you did, rinse them straight away. Now, don't worry if you don't have something like this. Any one of these kind of cleaning products should be interesting. So if I go and have a look under my sink, which is probably a mess, there's a whole load of bits and pieces in here that we could give a go. We could look at toilet cleaner. We could look at, well, more of a cleaner kitchen cleaners. Any of these things should be good. Now, not all of them will, but that doesn't really matter. We're going to test them anyway. So what we're going to do is we'll just start off by first getting a little bit of water, which we have here. So we'll just pop a small bit into this truck up here. And I'm going to bring out our red cabbage indicator on the spoon as best I can while holding the camera in my other hand. So if we pop this into here, we see a nice little purplish shit. Okay, there's a little purpley color. Now, what I'm actually gonna do to make this slightly easier is pour it into there. Now, you of course will have two hands, so this will be much easier for you. So there we are. And we can see that this is what's gonna be like in a neutral thing, substance. Now, quick little pop quiz, what is a pH? of a neutral substance. Next thing we're going to try is going to be our lemon. So take our lemon, you might have some lemon juice or anything like that, and we'll give it a good old squeeze, squish it all in there. And now we have some nice tangy lemon juice. Let's see what's going to happen. What do you think is going to happen? What do you reckon? Lemon juice, acid or base? Well, let's find out. And we pour this in here. And you see it becomes quite a nice bright red color. So this is red, this one's still a little bit purple. If I even threw a little bit more into this one, you'll see the purple color come up a bit more clearly. So we definitely got something going on here. Let's go and try our vinegar next. Here we go. So, vinegar. What do you think, folks? Acid or base? Let's go pour it in here and see what we get. And Okay, so another kind of red color, and actually if I look at this really closely, this is slightly, you may not see it in the film, this is slightly more purple, so I can probably switch these guys around here. Purple, kind of ready purple, kind of red. Nothing looking super dramatic yet, so let's go and have a look at some of the other substances we might have. Bread soda. Remember, this is the one, don't taste this. I tried it, doesn't work out well. Acid or base, folks, what do you think? Well, to make this up, we're going to put a little bit of water and a little bit of bread soda in. Just sprinkle a little bit in. Nice little mix. And here's our cabbage. Let's see what happens. Isn't that one nice and different? So now I have this 
blue color that's completely different to the other ones. All right. And our final one we're going to try is our oven cleaner. Now to prepare this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dilute it slightly. Put a bit of that in there. All right, because depending on what it is, it might be a little bit kind of fizzy. So we'll just give it a small stir. Break up some of those bubbles. Now, what do you think, folks? Answer the base. Let's go find out. And now you can see we're getting an almost yellowy, greeny color here. To mix this one up. All right, and this is, is of course quite a strong base. That's why we don't want to get it on our fingers. So you can see here. Again, the bubbles will burst over time, but we can move them aside there. We have a lovely dark green. As we move up to a slightly weaker base with a baking soda, we have a nice blue. Our purple is our neutral, which is pH 7. And these are our two assets, which are actually pretty similar, but if you look very closely, you might see it in yours. This one is slightly redder than this one here. Now, if we had these on a scale, let's have a quick little pop quiz. These two are assets. What, what kind of numbers would they have on a pH scale? Exactly. These are the beginning of the scale. And the easy way I remember this is A is the beginning of the alphabet. And of course, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up, up to 7 are at the beginning of the number line. And our bases over here, which B is after A, these are anything above 7, up to 14. So there is a lovely little bit of an acid base experiment. Thanks for watching today, guys, and don't forget, be sure to water over your peas as you go along. Quick little status check on my guys here, or peas, butter beans, sorry. Um, if we have a little look, some of them are beginning to sprout. We might just see it. There we go. The camera can pick up that guy there. He's just beginning to come out. So keep a little bit of moisture, not too much, over the next couple of days, and we'll come back and have a look at these on Monday. Take care of yourselves.